Now I'll take you through the steps to make a natural dye bath using the natural dye extracts. We have um, three different kinds here. There's Brazil wood, Indian Burberries and Alkanet. The process is exactly the same. You'll need a large vessel for the wool to move around freely, a small mixing jar and some water, and a vessel to transfer through a sieve after it's finished simmering. You'll need the mordanted wool, which you mordanted with alum. Now I'll take you through the steps. The dyes we're using here are natural dye extracts sourced from India. They're grown there and produced there by a small supplier. It's also possible to source natural dyes from your local environment, from nature or your kitchen food waste. The dyes supplied in the kit are for the total amount of wool, which is 400 grams. If you're using less wool, measure the dry weight of the wool and calculate the dye extract at 30% of the total weight. Make sure you've prepared the wool according to the instructions for mordanting. Wool must be wet to dye, so if you dried it after mordanting, now is the time to submerge it in water. Put the dye extract in a jar and add water to make a paste. So the dye has been simmering for about 20-30 minutes and it's ready to dye but first I have to filter it. So I'm going to pour it over here into another container. Keeping the water warm, but not higher than 80 Celsius, take the pre-wetted wool and submerge it into the pot. Make sure it has enough space to move around. Leave the fiber in the pot for 20 to 40 minutes, stirring occasionally. So once the wool has been there for about 30 minutes, you can look at the color. You have to remember that it dries to about 10% lighter than the color it is. If you like the color, you can take it out and rinse it in water. Once it has reached the desired color, remove and rinse with water and hang to dry. Remember that it will dry 10% lighter than the wet color.